Wow. Did you just did you see all of this? Okay. So what did you just observe? <laughs> what did you just have to endure? <laughs> that was the boot up process of a very, very old computer running Windows 3.1, sort of late 80s, early 90s, okay? And yes, it was, that, that's what it was. That's a computer, that's the computer that I would have. It, it booted up just like that. So there was a whole lot of stuff going on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what happens in the boot up process of a computer. So when you're booting up a computer, it means you're starting the computer. Okay, so from the moment you press that power button, it starts a whole process. A whole process kickstarts into action from you pressing that button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this process with you and just give you a, an overview of what does it mean when a computer boots up? All right, what happens when you press that button? So I'm going to be in the background. I'll just narrate and let's go through this together. Okay, so you've pressed the power on button. Fantastic. What happens next? Well, the next thing is the CPU then gets engaged. The CPU, it's time for the CPU to work. What does the CPU do? Well, it accesses the ROM, okay, the read-only memory chip, and it gets the instructions that are contained in that ROM. And it takes those instructions and it puts them in RAM because it's going to need to access those as well as the rest of the computer. Right. The, once we've got our instructions, they've been sent and stored in RAM, the BIOS then starts the monitor and the keyboard and some basic checks are performed. Like, do we have a keyboard? Is the monitor working? Is the RAM enough? Is it connected properly? Is everything running okay? That's the big thing. All right. Right, so the BIOS then begins the boot sequence. So the boot sequence begins and the operating system is then loaded into the random access memory. So do you see why RAM is so important, guys? Then the operating system begins to load and before you know it, the booting up is complete and we are ready to log into our system.